The Legal Aid Society of Metropolitan Family Services is the nation's second oldest legal aid organization. With its history dating back to 1886, LAS is recognized as the trusted leader in providing justice for all. Our mission is to protect and strengthen families by providing equal access to justice for our most vulnerable citizens. Today, we thank all of you for your continued support as we share with you this video in honor of William H. Avery and the success of LAS made possible by your pro bono support. He loved life. He loved everything about life. He was so upbeat, so positive. He was an optimist. Um, but he loved music, he loved sports, he loved um, art, and uh, he just, he, in a way, he was sort of a Renaissance man, that he, he was so, so uh, appreciative of so many different things in life. He had grown up on the south side of Chicago in the Kenwood area, and he, his family had fairly modest circumstances. He was. Uh, he was able to go to college because some childless friends of his parents said they would pay for him to go to college. This was before 529 plans and that kind of thing. Um, but I think he realized a difference that people could make by doing something for somebody else. And you heard him talking about those things that he was really passionate about. Probably as much as anything was legal aid and trying to make legal services available for as many people as possible. The wonderful thing about Bill Avery as a, as a mentor was he was, he was very um, easygoing and, um, but in a, in a, he was a gentleman in the old school in the very best sense. And he was very good on constructive criticism and he was very good on positive feedback when it was deserved. He wasn't overly enthusiastic, but um, so when, when he said it, something was a good job, he felt good about it. On my 50th birthday, Bill called me and said, I'd like to take you to lunch, just the two of us. And he did, and we talked about his life and his work. And he told me that the important thing in his life was the profession of law and that law was not a business, but it was a profession. And part of that professional duty was to perform pro bono services for those who couldn't afford lawyers. And he was devoted to that all his life. The William H. Avery Award was established by LAS in 1985 to recognize and encourage outstanding service and leadership in the provision of legal aid to those persons unable to afford to retain an attorney. Last year, through Legal Aid Society's pro bono program, over 100 law firm and corporate attorneys provided 4,544 hours of free legal service to seniors victimized by financial and physical abuse, survivors of trafficking and domestic violence, loss of housing, and consumer fraud. The work we do here is so important. I mean, we are literally saving people's lives. If you ask most attorneys, they will say, well, I went to law school so that I could help people, so that I could make a difference, I could get people access to the justice system. And this is an opportunity for them to fulfill that pledge and that promise and that dream that they had at one time. You know, there's a real benefit to the, to the attorneys that are involved. We belong to a learned profession. And as a part of a learned profession, it's our obligation to give back to, to society, to give back to people that, that are in need of help. To be able to stand in front of a judge and stand and deliver and argue on behalf of your client, that is just a, an amazing skill set to have and just an amazing opportunity. And that's not an opportunity that many you know, junior attorneys get. You don't often get to go to court and argue on behalf of a client. But that skill set translates to any type of law that you're going to practice. And 
you know, five years later, I am still drawing on my experiences from my year with Legal Aid Society. The Legal Aid Society is grateful to William H. Avery and Sidley Austin for their commitment to LAS and promoting pro bono work. Here is just one of our many success stories. This case was, I guess, unique compared to how a lot of cases come through um, the legal system. This was a, a individual who had taken this case pro se on her own, uh, went to court, sued her former landlord for not for failing to return her security deposit, had taken the case through um, uh, discovery all the way through trial, and then even up on appeal and had been successful every step of the way. Um, but it was in terms of enforcing the judgment that she had gotten herself uh, that she really kind of hit a barrier. I try to do as much as I can do before I involve anyone else because I want to know how much I can do and actually get done before involving anyone else. And it was like a task for me to actually be able to go in there and fill out the paperwork and hey, present it and send the copies. And even though it was a headache at times, it was also something I can say, I accomplished this, I know how to do this. When the judge said, I have to figure out how to collect my money to get her checks garnished. Excuse me? I didn't understand it. The judge didn't explain it. And right there, I just thought like, wow, what can I do to garnish this woman's check? There's a sense of some spite that Lavelda had been able to go to court and prevail in court and get a judgment. Um, but also there was a sense that eventually, even if Lavelda could navigate trial and the appeal process, she was gonna get to a point where she couldn't continue to enforce her judgment. And at that point, this individual thought they were gonna get off scot-free. That's when legal aid actually got involved and they proceeded with the next step. Hey, we don't need this, we don't need that. We know where she worked, that's all we need. I'll tell you, Lavelda was the first client who ever gave me a hug at the end of the case. And so having that kind of personal contact early on in, in, in your career, I think can uh, make you feel positive about what the future holds for, for your career and being able to get involved with, with pro bono work. I appreciate them for taking the time out to look at my case and offer their expertise. Um, it was greatly appreciated. I did get what I accomplished to get. And without them, I don't think I would have been able to get it.